Welcome to the students. <clears throat> this is your solving quadratics by factoring homework. This is going to be due on 325, which is going to be on Wednesday of this week. Alright, the first question says, which statement is true about the solutions to the equation x squared minus 9 equals 0? I went to y equals there and typed in x squared minus 9, and this is the picture, and you can clearly see that it hits two times. So this has two real solutions. Okay, didn't ask you to find them, just ask you what they were, how many it had. All right, this one wants to know the solutions. We learned that in class, this has an answer that's just the opposite of what you see there. So you see x plus 2, so this is x equals a negative 2. This one, we said there were some rules about it, but you could set it equal to 0, 2x plus 1 equals 0. Draw your line down, box. Plus 1 gets a minus 1, minus 1. So that's 2x equals a negative 1. When it's beside it, we divide it, so x equals negative 1 half. The other option was it's always the opposite of this divided by that, so it's negative 1 over 2. So the solutions are, if we write them in brackets like they do on the star test sometimes, it's negative 2 comma negative 1 half, like that. It's a pretty bad bracket over there. All right, the next one we have to do our factoring. So we look at 6, 17, and 5. They don't have anything in common, so we start our x. That's 30 to make 17. Our factors of 30 are 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 5 and 6. And so this is the set that makes 17. So we write our four parts. 6x squared plus 2x plus 15x plus 5 equals 0. We group. That has a 2x in common. So it's 3x plus 1 this is also going to be 3x plus 1, and those have a 5 in common. So our factors are 3x plus 1 and 2x plus 5. And when we look at our answers, we do the opposite of 1 divided by 3, and the opposite of 5 divided by 2. And so those are our answers. Okay. Remember, we could have set them equal to 0, zero unsolved. You just move the 5 over, divide by 2, move the 1 over, divide by 3, and you'll get those answers that I gave you. This guy can't be over there. we got to move him on this side. He's happy over there, so when we move him, it's going to upset him. So he becomes a negative 24. We look at the three things there. They don't have anything in common, so we start our factoring. Negative 24 on top, positive 10 on bottom. So multiplies to be negative 24, but subtracts to be 10. So we have 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. So 2 and 12 are the only ones that can make a 10. We need it to be positive, so it's going to be negative 2 and 12. So we'll write our four parts. x squared minus 2x plus 12x minus 24 equals 0. We group. Those have an x in common, so we pull that out and it's x minus 2. Oops. Uh, so we know we're going to get an x minus 2 over here. 12 and 24 have a 12 in common, so it's x minus 2 and x plus 12. So this gives us an answer of x equals 2. This gives us an answer of x equals negative 12. So it's negative 12 comma 2. Right, the side lengths of the figure below are given in inches if the perimeter of it is 31. So we're going to add up all these. So x squared plus 3x minus 2 plus 4x minus 2 plus 5 equals 31. Combine like terms. So that's x squared plus 7x. Negative 2 and negative 2 is negative 4 plus 5 is a positive 1 equals 31. We know this guy can't be over there, so we move him over. So that'll be minus 30. x squared plus 7x. We do combine these, and that makes negative, whoops, that was the, negative 30 equals 0. So we look at these. They don't have anything in common, so we start our process. 1 times negative 30 is negative 30 uh, to make 7. So our factors of 30 are 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 
and 3 and 10 is the set that makes 7, so it's a negative 3, positive 10. So our four parts are x squared, minus 3x, plus 10x, minus 30. And we group, pull out the x, so that's x minus 3. Uh, that's also going to be x minus 3. Uh, we pull out a 10, so that is x minus 3, x plus 10. So the minus 3 gives us a regular 3, the 10 gives us a negative 10, and if we were to make x a negative number, that would give us negative side length, so that is wrong. x has to be 3.